In this lesson, we're going to finish the modeling of the beer bottle. Okay, so I'm back in 3D Studio Max, and I've opened up Budweiser Lesson 02 Start. There's just a few things that we want to change to this model, just so it holds its shape a little bit better. So the first thing I want to do is add a modifier called Mesh Smooth. And what this will do is give us a representation of what would this model would look like if we up the segments on it so that it would smooth itself out. As you can see, it doesn't really hold its shape very well. And what we need to do is just add in a few extra line segments to kind of hold the curves where it should. So I'm going to go down to edge mode. I'm going to turn on my show end result. And what this will do is just allow us to work on the editable poly, but to see what mesh smooth would see uh, if it was turned on. And we need to add a segment in here just to allow that edge to be a little bit harder. So with edge on, I'm going to click on one of these edges and hit ring. I apologize. We're going to hit loop. And with loop selected, we're just going to scroll down here and click on chamfer. And we just want to add one more edge in there and possibly two. Now one should be fine. And hit OK. Now you can see now when we go back up to mesh smooth, how that's really held its shape. We want to do the same thing up here and inside there as well. Just kind of sharpen up some of these edges, make it look a little bit more realistic. So back to edge mode. I'm going to click on this edge here, hit loop. We're going to chamfer this one as well. Hit OK. Now on this one, we actually want to bring this one out a little bit. Uh, we don't really want a hard edge up here, just kind of want it to look a little bit flatter. So we're just going to bring that one out. And on this edge here, we may have to add an edge loop as well, but not uh, not a sharp one. So we're just going to spread out the chamfer a little bit on that one, just so it kind of holds the shape a little bit more. So that one there is a bit sharp. Let's bring that out a little bit, just so kind of a little bit smoother. Okay, great. We move down to the bottom. We have some work to do down here. So back in polygon mode, I'm going to select all these edges. There are all these faces here down at the bottom. Make sure my square selection is selected here. And with those edges selected, I'm just going to scale them down so that they're a little bit flatter. And what I would like to have happen here is that I'd like to have like a little bit of a ridge coming down from here, but we don't have enough topology to do that. So in order to do that, we're going to want to select one of these edges. And hit ring. We use the connect tool this time. And we're just going to pull that connect tool out a little bit further towards this edge here. And now that we have that enough geometry there, we can just select this group of faces in here and hit extrude. And bring that up a little bit. However, that's not going to hold its shape very well uh, when we use the mesh smooth. And if I turn on that toggle again, you'll see that the shape doesn't really, you know, it's not really sharp. So what we need to do is just add in some edge loops just to make that look a little bit sharper. So we'll select this one holding control to select, uh, selecting these other edges. And with them all selected, we can hit loop and we'll chamfer them all together. We're just going to drag these settings down really low and close to each other. And that should be enough. And hit OK. Now you can see that it's holding its shape a lot better. However, I'm not overall happy with the placement with that. So we can just go back down to our polygon mode we'll just select this group of faces here and we can hit grow a few times and this will we hit that a few times here we'll actually grow the whole selection at the bottom we can just scale those out a little bit okay great so on the inside as well that needs to be flat so we can go in from our top view i'm just going to hit g to turn off our grid and i'm going to select those faces there at the bottom as well i'm going to do the same grow method here we'll just select all the bottom ones using control. Hit grow till we get the amount of faces that we want. And from the side view, we'll just scale them down as well so that they're flat. 
That will just help the caustics bounce around there a little better. All right, let's take a look at this, see how it looks. Might be tempted a little bit just to bring this vertice here right in the middle. Oh, and I can see that these vertices actually aren't all welded together. So in this case, we're gonna to wanna to select all the vertices there at the bottom. Make sure that those are the only ones we have selected. We'll just go down to merge. Or weld, sorry. And we'll just increase that up until that they all snap together. Same with this one, we'll hit weld again. Just increase all those, make sure they're good. Okay, and like I said there a moment ago, I said I'd be kind of tempted just to pull that one up a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a not perfectly machined look to it. All right, just inspecting this. All right, and that will finish off the bottle, and in the next lesson, we'll start modeling the cap for this bottle.